Hey everyone and welcome back. This is Mindy and today I have some real spooky inspiration to share with you today featuring honeybee stamps. This is also a part of a YouTube hop that I will have linked down below. The first thing I'm going to do is create my background and I am using the Distress Mica Stains from Ranger and Tim Holtz in Iron Gate, Empty Tomb, and Decayed. A couple of these are the new seasonal and one of them I think is from last year. So you need to make sure to shake these up really, really well. And then I'm spraying this over some of the Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock. I started with Decayed, that is kind of that bright color, and then kind of spraying the other two colors around the edge. Then I'm going to take my heat tool and I'm just gonna kind of heat this up a little bit, to dry it a little faster, and I'm gonna set it off on the side to dry the rest of the way on its own. I have the Honey Cuts a little spooky, which has all of these great spooky Halloween dies. So I'm going to be die cutting them all using my Bitty Buzz Cutter. Some of them I did in a white cardstock, others I did in a colored cardstock that I'll talk about as I get there. So the ones with the white cardstock, now our candelabra, I did die cut the whole piece from a gold foil cardstock, and then the smaller pieces of the candle, I added some antique linen, I also added it to the skull. Then for the books, I die cut that out of a craft cardstock, added some vintage photo, and now we have this really creepy hand that I love, and I added a little bit of old paper to that. Then we have kind of this smoke that's going to be coming out of the cauldron. I just used whatever purple was left on my brush. And now for the raven, which I called a crow in my last video, but it's a raven. I did a little bit of black soot distress ink and then a little bit of the unicorn pigment ink on the other side. And I'm also adding that kind of to the center of the cauldron just to try and show some dimension. Now I can start working on the assembly of the pieces. So here I have that candelabra that is cut from a gold foil cardstock and the candlesticks are separate as well as the flame. So I'm adding those all with my liquid glue. The flames are pretty tiny, but they are really fun to the image. They just really add something to have all these different pieces separate. Another thing I thought afterwards would be super cool is adding something like a stickles to the top of the flame. I didn't think of it at the time, but that would be really cool. Now we have this super creepy hand and I have the fingernails of the creepy hand die cut from a dark gray cardstock. A lot of these cardstock pieces I just grabbed out of my scrap drawer. Now I know this is probably something that a lot of people don't like, but I think it is super cool and really creepy and I know plenty of friends that would love this. Now because I die cut the candelabra from a gold foil cardstock, I wanted to add some stability to it, so I die cut another piece out of white cardstock and I'm going to glue that together. Otherwise, that gold foil cardstock was just a little bit too flimsy for me to work with. So now that I have all my main pieces glued together, I'm gonna to come back to my background that is now completely dry. I'm placing this in my Misty tool and I am going to use that spider web from the Happy Halloween stamp set. So I place that over my background. I'm prepping this with an anti-static powder tool and then I'm inking up that spider web in VersaFine ink and then I'm going to stamp that down. This is a ink that stays wet a little longer so it is great for heat embossing which I'm going to use that black sparkle embossing powder again because I loved it the last time I used it and I think it looks amazing with the spider web. After I have my heat gun warming up on the side for a few seconds, I can come over and melt that embossing powder. I'm taking an A2 size card base and adding adhesive to that so I can attach my front panel to it and start working on adding my elements to the front of the card. I played around with the design for a little bit to figure out which pieces were gonna be more in the back and which ones in the front. I started with the books that I had there as my first image and then I'm bringing in that candelabra and adding that to the very top of the book. Then I'm going to take that creepy hand and I'm gonna have it coming out of the cauldron. So I just added a little bit of liquid glue behind there to secure the hand and then adding some more liquid glue behind that to attach that smoke coming out behind the hand. So I want to end up popping up this image with foam squares, but first I'm going to attach the raven with some liquid glue so that way it is tucked behind my cauldron. 
Once that's secured down, I will add some foam squares behind my cauldron, kind of adding some smaller pieces to the top to make sure that behind that smoke is covered too. And then adding that over the top of the raven and then also adding my skull to the bottom there. I'm using a sentiment from the stamp set Hocus Pocus that I'm stamping in the Honeybee Stamps Intense Black Ink. And I really, really love that Honeybee has coordinating dies for their sentiments. So I am going to run that through my Bitty Buzz Cutter. I'll add a few foam squares behind the sentiment and then place that up towards the top. Now I know this is probably a little more creepier than people prefer, but I really love it. It just kind of gets my spook out and I love that I can just kind of play and mix around with things and the mica stains were really fun to add to the background. All of my supplies are listed down below in the video description and over on my blog as well and don't forget to check out the next person in the hop and leave a comment down below to enter in the giveaway. Thanks for stopping by. See you soon.